Hey, hey, it's Berta J. You're back in my kitchen with me today so that we can do one more in the series of Can You Freeze It? And the Can You Freeze It is pineapple. And the answer again is yes. So let's get started. You take a fresh pineapple, cut off the bottom, cut off the top, and then you're going to cut down the sides and get all that skin off of it. You cannot use a vegetable peel in, in here. You must use a knife because it won't go through that thick skin. You need a, really need a knife for that. So cut all the way around and get off those little teeny pieces off the bottom and as much of that as you possibly can, those little eyes. Those little eyes actually have seeds in them. Okay, then cut it in half. Take the half, cut side down, oh, cut side up, and cut it in half again and then take out the core. Now the core is where this wonderful ingredient from pineapple is. It's called bromelain. It's very anti-inflammatory and it's excellent for you. Save the core. Don't throw the core away. That's where all that bromelain is. Cut it up into small pieces. Cut the, each one of the quarters into smaller pieces. Put Lay all of this on a parchment lined baking sheet. You don't have to rinse it because it's got pineapple juice all over it and you want to freeze it with that and just lay it out on, a, on the sheet. It's like a little puzzle. And get all of, this is a whole pineapple. I cut up the whole pineapple and it fit on my cookie sheet. And then it goes into the freezer. It's been more than five hours, which is, which is what we said to do, what I said to do. And this is what you have. You have frozen pineapple that are hard. See? And so this is the last part of it much like the apples, but you don't have to soak them. All you do now is bag them. You can use these frozen pineapple for anything you would use unfrozen pineapple for. They can go in smoothies. You can just pop one in your mouth. You could either put it in plastic bags or if you have a food saver, this would be a good time to use it. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell like I always say so that every time we have a new video you will get the notification and you can see what's going on in Berta J's kitchen you and I okay so until next time with all of your freezing and understanding what you can do with it bye for now